Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm Abby Peel, your host. Four weeks ago, we heard from a couple of teachers at Kearsarge Regional High School about the value of STEAM education and how it motivates students. Today, we'll hear from a couple administrators on the nuts and bolts for making this project happen. Hi, gentlemen. Hello, so today we are here to provide the public with a little bit more information about the planned project at the high school, the STEAM, the Science, Technology, Engineering, Applied Arts and Math expansion and renovation um, at the high school. So a few weeks ago you have heard from two of our teachers about the educational innovations that uh, go along with this program. Today Mr. Langel, the principal, and myself would like to give you more information about uh, the physical space that we're trying to create, the size of the project, and also the rationale behind the project. So we have analyzed our uh, profile of the graduates in the Kearsarge Regional School District over the uh, past five, six, seven years, and have noticed that while 75% of our students then continue into a two or four year academic path or the college, uh, there are about a quarter of our uh, students that do not choose a post-secondary solution at this point. So addressing the specific needs of students that do not choose to go to college right after high school, we have been looking at solutions to provide more skills, more training, more preparation for this um, segment of our population. We're trying to add options for jobs in our communities, for career paths that kids might choose at this point without post-secondary education. So what we are not trying to do is replace the career technical school in Concord. Those programs are very valuable and approximately 20 to 30 students every year benefit from those uh, offerings. What we are trying to do is enhance and expand our offerings in the STEAM area uh, at our high school for those students. And um, Mr. Langel will talk about some of the specific programs uh, that we are targeting. Thank you, Winfred. So, um, like Winfred was talking about, you know, this is really targeting those 25% of the kids. And the way I like to talk about STEAM, which is such a jargon word that unless you're in education every day, you probably don't know what it means. It's the classes that we probably, as kids ourselves, love the most about school. Art classes, shop classes, culinary programs. And these things have come around now where we're starting to see in education, uh, you know, an intrinsic value to math, science, and connected to these um, areas by having students do these hands-on projects where they can be excited about school. Currently right now, um, 30 to 40% of the students that want to take these classes each year get a chance to do so because the space is so small. It doesn't fully meet the needs of the kids that want to take this, never mind if we grew the interest of students to take these classes. You know, for instance, we have one small art classroom that's about 850, 900 square feet. Sounds large, but we're trying to put three-dimensional art, two-dimensional art, jewelry making, ceramics, painting, printmaking, all these things into one small tight space along with the storage and the kiln that goes into that. And then if you go into our culinary class, currently we have one working stove and station for students to get around and cook. And to try and involve maybe the physics kids or physical science, some of these required classes that students go through graduation, to come down and partner into these classes and grow the size it would be next to impossible. I mean, as you can imagine, trying to cook in your own kitchen with 20 students with one stove, that would be impossible. But that doesn't work for day-to-day -day learning. In a woodshop class, you know, we are using the same tools that were used 50, 60 years ago when there are so many advancements in, in modern manufacturing, including robotics and CNC routers and these things that do a lot of the labor-intensive work of the construction industry, of the manufacturing industry, and we have some of those components, but it's really hard to use them because the space also has to have the traditional wood lathes and the band saw and the chop saw and, and all those other things that we have to have to also build the components that go with it. So this expansion would allow us to be able to use modern manufacturing 
with all of the old technology at the same time. Thanks guys, what a real world solution for bringing students with different interests together. When we return, I'll revisit a segment that I did at the Refinery Restaurant last summer. I can already taste the BBQ. Now these words from some of the good folks that make your Yankee Chronicle possible. <laughs> 